What's up my friends, it's me Day and today's video is on the Cutlass variants. I'm excited they just released the three variants that we can pick up for the Cutlass and the original one has been reworked. So this video is for anyone thinking about buying them. Which one should I get? If you're on the fence, maybe I can help you. I hope hopefully you come away from this thinking about what you want. Uh, this isn't going to be a gameplay video, it's going to be more discussion and just showing information and pictures. So let's dig in. Let's start off with the black, the Cutlass Black. Now this is the pretty much a rework of the original one that we've all seen, but if you haven't seen it, we'll quick briefly go over it. So its focus is militia or patrol, that's what they kind of use that term loosely. Now that could be anything, right? This ship is designed that can do a lot of things. And here's the description. Cutlass Black is a low cost, easy to maintain solution for all local in-system militia. The larger than average cargo hold, RIO seat, and dedicated tractor mount are the company literature insists. <laughs> Some weird English. For facilitating search and rescue operations. So, when you look in the back of it, it's pretty basic. What I like about the black is it can do anything that you want. You can kind of customize. It's like a, almost, a, almost, not fully, but almost a blank slate of a ship mid-range. That you can customize to do your own thing and I've done it I did a review on the cut cutlass before and it was very similar like I just gave ideas of what the cutlass can do but now that they've released these other models which we're gonna get into kind of changes things so let's move on to the red the cutlass red is a very obvious <laughs> statement when you it's search and rescue it's like the the fire truck or the ambulance of the, the universe converts the standard cargo hold to a well-equipped medical facility, including an auto dock. This starbound ambulance features the NAV E7 Echo Transponder, a long-range scanner, and a Secure Plus docking collar. So it makes it ideal for search and rescue. It also comes with a unique red crossbones skin. So when you think about this ship, it's, it's very, very focused on search and rescue comes with some obvious changes in the back it, it doesn't it's changed up the cargo hold it doesn't hold very much cargo at all it actually, actually it holds zero cargo to be precise it holds a max crew of four though so you can have four crew members working here and it's it's an obvious first responder type vehicle now obviously you can change the, the use of this this can be exploited this can be used to your advantage like oh that's just an ambulance don't you know leave him alone you could outfit it with some weapons <laughs> i would buy it just to get if if i was a pirate i would buy it for that color scheme and i'd put it on my tricked out cutlass and use that to my advantage not saying i'm just saying <laughs> it's it's got really not great weapons it's only got a couple class ones but it's not meant for that right just keep that in mind and we'll move on so it's very low weapons it's fast but it's just meant for search and rescue now we'll move on to the next model keep it in mind the blue police focus <laughs> so let's talk about this description sleek mean and royal the cutlass blue adds missiles a more aggressive engine a dural steel holding cells in the cargo bay and the cutlass Blue is the Outworld Militia standard ship of choice for patrols. Yeah, I see it, right? It's tricked out. It's got special missiles, a new type. We don't know how, I don't know how these are going to work, but it's, it's very, um, yes, blue police. Why would, this is going to be pirates. You're going to see these pirates take this one over the black. I, I assume, because it's got better weapons off, off the gate. And it's got holding cells. And the holding cells take up pretty much the whole entire cargo bay. But that's alright. When you're when you're a, a pirate, you're not gonna be Maybe you are though, right? Maybe that's part of it. There's only 30 cargo capacity. 30 units. Max crew of three. Um it's got the same pretty much the same weapons except for those spider, Nova Spider missiles. Again. This, it could be, I, I could go into millions of ways to use this Cutlass Blue, but in my opinion, this, all this has written all over it is organization police, 
or pirates. Why else would you get this? Why else would you have holding cells? Who the hell is going to want to go in the back of a holding cell? Let's bring it all back together. Let's talk about these three roles. All three of these roles are very specific. Actually, I shouldn't say that. Two of the roles are very specific and one isn't. The black. So speaking about the price, the black is 115 US dollars. The cutlass red is 135 and the blue is 165. So from the blue to the black, that's a pretty big jump, right? Like, and think about what you're actually getting for that, that price. You're getting some holding cells. You're getting a different cockpit. It's more rounded. I don't know what that, it's just a style feature. And, and I mean, you're getting missiles and you're getting an engine. You're getting a few things, right? That will make a difference in my opinion, but they're just extras. They're not, in my opinion, and don't take, everyone might feel different, but to me, the Cutlass Black is the best value here. Because for me, I don't know how profitable search and rescue will be. I don't know how profitable. There's so many search and rescues, right? You could be a, a mercenary. So you, there's so many ways we could discuss this forever. But my opinion, I don't know the logistics of it. And the black to me just seems a lot of a more smarter choice, a lot better choice. Good English. I can use it for whatever I want. I can, if I find that, hey, this weapon performs better, like a, it's an empty slate and I like that. And it's also the fact that it's non-specific. I don't know. Nobody's going to know what I'm doing. And I'm personally probably going to pick one up. One last thing, which is pretty neat. Every Cutlass Blue purchase gets advocacy tools, the set of advocacy tools. Like it, so pretty much police stuff. <laughs> You get a restraint system and a baton. Pretty neat. So it makes you wonder, right? They're trying to push that they want some sort of player run law and order in game, but this will be exploited for sure. Why wouldn't you? Why? I would. I'm not saying I am, but if I did, a Cutlass Red with a crew of pirates, oof, that's deadly. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you got anything else you want to add, please do. Don't forget to subscribe. Day. I'll see you later.